Greetings, Centurions. It's Mark Nacaredo from The Romulan War, a Star Trek fan production. And uh, I apologize, it's been a while since I've given a mission briefing, but I think you'll agree this is one worth uh, reporting in on. Uh, first of all, I want to give you an update on where we are with the film. Uh, you may remember we're trying to get part one of The Romulan War completed by the end of 2019. I am crossing my fingers. Uh, I think we can do it. We're waiting on some audio and video from our donors who uh, who were going to record some pieces for us. We're also waiting on uh, some soundtrack and uh, some other post-production special effects. I'm glad to report that nearly all of Samuel Cocking's effect shots have been completed. Uh, so he's ripping through there at warp speed. Hopefully we'll be able to have that all ready for you by the end of 2019. And until that happens, uh, I want to announce that uh, this Sunday uh, evening, we're going to premiere on YouTube um, a live video of Preamble to War. And Preamble to War is sort of a short video summing up the events that lead to the Romulan War. Uh, if you want the details on that, you should check our Facebook page. Of course, you can always look at our website and our YouTube page as well for the details. So I hope you guys will tune in, and just to make sure that you do, we're going to show you a short teaser clip right here of Preamble to War. And uh, I hope to see you all in the comments threads with your amazing comments on Sunday. Okay, take care, thanks for your patience, and live long and prosper. The Tal Shiar had been observing the humans' movements for some time. The belief was that Earth used peacemaking and diplomacy as a cover for their true objective and expansionist agenda that was a threat to Romulan sovereignty. For in the words of the poet, the seekers shall be unsundered, and all shall dwell in the shadow of the raptor's wing. It would take several months for Valdor to complete his battle plan, and for the Romulans to fully deploy their fleet. But the Praetor refuses to wait, and orders a ghastly attack, one of the most brutal war crimes ever recorded.